Okay, so our next task, 16.3, for load balancing calls, we're told to provision a method so that any call placed from branch two phones to the phones at corporate, headquarter, or branch one sites are sent to both the subscriber at 177.1.10.20 and the publisher at .10 servers in a load balanced fashion so that neither gets overwhelmed with too many calls. Okay? Well, we had erased our dial peer from earlier that I'll just go ahead and copy and paste back in here since we had uh, essentially gotten rid of it. And I believe that one was pointing to, I don't recall if it was pointing to the uh, publisher or subscriber, but we'll put one in for each. And the reason we erased it is so that they would be in the proper order. So we're going to have dial peer voice 10, VOIP, destination pattern, left bracket, right bracket, and then this can either be a dash if there's a range of numbers, or even if they are numbers that are not contiguous to one another, one and two are, but it could be one eight. If there's no dash, then it's not a range. It's saying either one or any one of these digits. If we had maybe five digits in here with no dashes, any one of these digits can successfully be matched for this one position, but only one digit. So either one or two dot, dot, dot. So 1,000 series and 2,000 series are sent via SIP. There's already a SIP trunk back at call manager. And this one's sending to the publisher. DTMF relay is RTP NTE RFC 2833, which is what we're using on our SIP phones. And what's preferred over a SIP trunk, KPML being the backup. And we were told to load balance these calls. So we're going to add another dial peer here. For dial peer 11, pointing to same destination pattern, but dot 20. And we're not going to add preference. Now, no hunt stop, or don't stop hunting, or allow hunting, is the default for dial peers. At least the default for dial peers you create from the command line. Dial peers that are created for you from things like uh, ePhone and ePhone DN, the pot style peers that are created there, hunt stop is actually the default built into those templates. So stop hunting. So if we wanted those to hunt, we would have to explicitly say no hunt stop. But here, if we say no hunt stop, and we do show run, pipe to begin with dial dash peer, we see that nothing shows up there. That's because it's the default. Don't stop hunting or allow hunting. The problem is there's no preference, which preference zero, oops, sorry for the scroll, preference zero is the default, but they're both preference zero. So which one is going to take it? Well, by default, everything is random. However, there is more to dial peers than meets the eye. And certainly the behavior can be different from that from CUCM. So we've got dial peer hunt. Now this is not a hunt group. We'll talk about that in, in uh, I believe, not the next module, but uh, so this is module 16. I believe in module 18 we deal with uh, all the call coverage and BACD and hunt groups in iOS and CME. But here dial peer hunt refers to the hunting algorithm. And zero is the default. So this is a global config command. Notice I'm not inside the dial peer anymore. If I say dial peer hunt zero, and I say do show run pipe two section hunt, or I should say maybe pipe two include hunt, it doesn't show up anywhere. If I change dial peer hunt to let's say seven, and do that show, it does show up. So we know zero is the default. And by looking at the command reference, we could know that zero is the default. The default is to first try to match the longest phone number. Then, if that's a tie, the explicit preference. Then, if that's a tie, random selection. Now, you might say, good, so it's going to choose both of these at some point. Yes, it will, but it will not be in a round robin, load balance fashion. It could be choose dial peer 10, dial peer 11, dial peer 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 11. 10, 10, 10, 11, 11, 11, 11, 10, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, and so on. It's random. So anyone has a chance of being the next winner. It will not load balance. Let's look at some of the others. Let's start at the bottom. Least recent use. Well, that's not bad. 
but it's the only determining factor. Or completely random. Now it still has to match, but completely random. I could have uh, 9 dot dot, 9 1 1, and 9 1 dot, each with different preferences, and neither the preference nor the longest match has any choice. It just has to match, and it'll match randomly, or choose randomly. Anyway, you can read on all these. There's a bunch, but the one we are probably going to want is 1, which is the same as 0, longest match in phone number, then explicit preference, then if neither of those two tie out, then the change from 0 is least recent use. So let's change this to 1. And now our dial peers will go back and forth as to which one is chosen. So to give an example, see what debugs we have turned on. All right, let's do a call over to 1001. And we're going to answer it, go to mute, so we don't have too much feedback, and do a show call active voice compact. And that's actually not showing uh, which dial peer we're going out of. So let's do show voice, uh, sorry, show call active voice pipe to include peer ID. And this shows us that we came inbound through 20001, which is in POTS dial peer from the skinny e-phone, and outbound through dial peer 10. Okay, tear down that call. There's nothing active. Do the call again. Just hit redial from the same phone to the same phone. And this time we chose outbound peer 11. Okay, tear down the call. Do redial again. Okay, this time we chose peer 10. And once again, Redial from the same phone to the same phone. We chose peer 11, as we can see. So it is load balancing. The reason I don't typically like to do the example demonstration with the random is because sometimes it will actually load balance, but sometimes it will uh, choose one for like 10 years. Not really, but I mean, I'm exaggerating, but it'll choose it for like it seems like over a minute of me just continuing to do the redial and check the config before I actually hit the other one. So it truly is random and sometimes it's hard to actually produce the good example of it being completely random. We can try it here real quick. If it doesn't happen quickly, I'm going to change it back. All right. <clears throat> okay, so we currently have nothing. Let's do an undebug all. We've already seen all the voice translations. Let's clear off the screen. All right, so redial. There's peer 10. We'll do a redial. There's peer 10. Okay, so it's chosen the same one in a row a couple times. Now it chose peer 11. Great. It looks like it's working actually pretty well this time. Again, it's hard to predict. Now it chose 11. And it still chose 11. Okay, so still chose 11. Try it again. Still choosing 11. Okay, so we can clearly see that it chose 10 a few times, but now it's almost always choosing 11. The point is, it's certainly not load balancing them. We go back, and then we'll just do it a couple times. Oops. Call is up. Peer 10. Redial. Peer 11. And one more time just to show that it's back to peer 10. Guaranteed. Back to peer 10. Okay? So we are, in fact, load balanced. We'll write this router config and clear off our screen. And we've taken care of that task.